So two home games in four days offer City the opportunity to move within two points of Arsenal before the league leaders play again. Victories tonight against Spurs and then Wolves on Sunday would see the Blues close in on the Gunners, sending out a powerful message that despite that controversial Derby Day defeat last weekend, the title race is far from over, particularly when you consider that only this game tonight will take City to the halfway stage. And Spurs try to build from the back. And Dyer's under pressure, plays it forward to Kane. Kane's giving it away. Rodri plays it up towards Haaland. Haaland battling, won by Dyer. Alvarez, Mares. that's a handball, no question. But the referee weighs play on. And Grealish has got it, he's in the penalty area. Back it goes to Gundogan. Gundogan tries one, and it goes beyond the far post and out for a goal kick. Son has got a bit of space here, and he plays it out wide to Davis. Davis has Perisic on his outside. Perisic comes in field, puts in a dangerous ball, and oh, it's headed away by Ake. Kane was about to volley it, probably into the back of the net. Nathan Ake has done fantastic, because he's also had to watch the run initially from Royale, and then react and get back. Fantastic, Nathan Ake. And Spurs are trying to play out from the back, they've done it, and now they've lost it. Alvarez wins it back, on it goes to Rodri. Now then, Grealish in the left-wing position, comes towards the edge of the penalty area, looks up, plays it to Rico Lewis, shooting position, deflection, good save! Lloris pounded away, it was a deflected Rico Lewis shot. Great shot, Rico Lewis, a slight deflection, and you'd expect the keeper to make, to make that save, but he gets a really strong hand on it. Four minutes to half-time, City nil, Spurs nil. Ake plays it into the gap, looking for Haaland. Haaland gets to it, Haaland up against Lloris, good save. Haaland now tussling with Lloris, can't get to the ball. And the ball is cleared by Romero. Well, that was Haaland's moment, maybe, but Lloris came and met him, and it was good goalkeeping. I mean, he made that run on 20 occasions in this first half, and that's the first time we've looked to find him, and we've got him behind. The space is there, we've got to utilise that more. Alvarez inside the Spurs half, looks up, plays it out wide, and it goes to Mares. Mares now into the penalty area, He's, can he find a cross? Plays it to Rodri, Rodri in, Haaland over the bar! Great chance for City, Haaland in front of Lloris, beat Lloris to the ball, but headed it onto the top of the net. Now, Lloris has gone long, Ake's underneath it, traps it beautifully, takes it down and then plays it all the way back to Edison. Edison into the gap for Rodri and he's given away and Spurs will score! Well, it's what City do, they play out from the back, they play it to players who are under pressure, Rodri was the man under pressure, he lost the ball and Kulosevsky has passed it into the net. The ball's played forward by Akanji, up towards Mares, headed away, Son helps it forward. The oh, now there are three men in this attack, Kane's gone chasing it, and Stones has got to it, and Kulusevski's now picked up the loose one, wide on the right-hand side. The ball comes into the box to Kane, good tackle by Rodri, it's still danger, parried away, and Spurs lead by two goals to nil. Emerson Royale on the follow-up has headed it into the back of the City net. Two goals, three minutes apart, it's City nil, Spurs two. Akanji to Rodri, Rodri to Gundogan, Gundogan back to Akanji again. Akanji looking up, looking for a player, finds Lewis. Lewis now driving City forward, getting towards the final third. Outside it goes to Mares. Mares in the penalty area. The cross isn't a bad one. Gundogan is blocked, Grealish is blocked, and then it's turned in. Alvarez, City back in the game. It's the sixth minute of the second half. It is City 1, Spurs 2, and Julian Alvarez has scored for the Blues. It's just that in instinct of a, of a striker, it's very much Aguero-like. Keep the ball alive, put it into the danger area, and Alvarez will finish things off. It is now game on, there is a long way to go in this game, and Julian Alvarez has put City back in the hunt. City have won it back, 
Spurs make an error, Rodri gets to it. Now it's into the gap for Alvarez. Alvarez now coming forward, coming towards the final third, lays it out wide. Mares joins in on the right wing. Mares comes in field, plays it to Rodri. Rodri scoops it forward. Mares, Holland! Can you believe it? 2 0 down at half time. It's 2 2. Fantastic. What a great energy now around the stadium. And it's quick, they've moved the ball quick, kept it alive. It's a little dink ball from, from Rodri. Just put it in the middle. Ask questions, keep it alive. Maris gets to the ball first, squares it across, and Haaland's on the move to all. Fantastic. Absolutely tremendous from City. Erling Haaland hadn't scored in 2023. Well, he has now. He's on the end of a knockback from Mares, and Spurs' two goals have been wiped out in the blink of an eye. Oh, and another mistake by Spurs, and Grealish is in. Grealish in the penalty area. Grealish, the ball across the face of the goal, and it's hacked away anywhere. My goodness, Spurs are all over the place, and Hoybjerg is furious because his teammates aren't reacting. Now Rodri picks it up. It's a match that you just couldn't envisage at half-time. Rodri's given it away, Kulosevsky did well. Tracking the run and getting it away. Hoybjerg himself makes a mistake, City in possession. Mares on the edge of the area. Mares with a step over, shoots just wide. Well, I never... I'll tell you what, Spurs were a different team in the first half. They've completely lost their composure. The way the game's gone in the second half, we're expecting the net to bolt. It doesn't, but the momentum is purely with City now. Absolutely, they've got to keep clear heads because Spurs are still exceptional on the counter-attack. Kulosevsky on the counter, in the right wing position. Kulosevsky into the penalty area, puts in the ball, and the Spurs will score now! I think it's Rico Lewis just off his ankle, which bounces it yeah, up into the crossbar. Real, real moment of um, for, fortune for City. Ake, Ake has Rodri. Rodri plays it out wide to Mares. Mares won't get it. He will get to it. He's got the better of Perisic. Into the area goes Mares and scores. Riyad Mares, City three, Spurs two. What a comeback! Brilliant. I think it's. I think it's Pulisic has just tried to gamble, and he's just mistimed the interception. And like I've said many times, when Mara squares you up, and he gets momentum, it's a switch ball from Rodri. Pulisic just misses out. Now once he gets his momentum, once the step over comes, it's brilliant, and straight through Larice. Mara's has been the difference in this second half. I think every time he's had the ball, there's been some sort of end product from him. Terrific. Edison goes long, it's headed away. Pick, pick City will pick it up with Haaland. Haaland now onto the ball. Options to his right hand side. Mares, Alvarez, corner. City corner. Well, there's nine minutes to go. It's a City corner on that far side. Mares will whip it in. Haaland's in there, Stones is in there, Rodri's in there, Ake's in there, Akanji's in there, Rodri on the far, it's blocked by Richarlison. Now then, on the counter, no, good tackle by Akanji. VAR are just going to yeah. check to see if there was a handball. I don't think there was myself, but anyway, let's have a look. Oh my ball. goodness, it could yeah. be. I think it it's could the back, be. I think it's the back of his forearm. Yeah, Richarlison turns... has turned round on it, hasn't he? Mm. No, no handball. Yeah, VAR just... say no. How about that? Edison's got long, Mares is on to it. Mares! 4 2. An assist for Edison. A second goal for Mares. And Spurs are beaten. Fantastic. We've called for it. Edison's been embraced by Walker because he knows the importance of that ball in behind. Probably a poor touch, a poor decision. I think it was dire. And he's just stepped in there. But. He has been magnificent in the second half, Riyad Mahrez. I think he's played a part in every goal. I think the assist of England, he scored, and he's just been brilliant, and that just tops it off. And that's a massive momentum shift this from where we were at half time on the back of a couple of defeats. This is this has just been an absolute game-changing half for Manchester City in their season.